Hi harmonic fans, my name is Lee Sankey and today I'm going to run through the phrase that I just played you which is part of my tongue blocking series and we're talking about phrases in the low register and this is the fourth one and basically this is playing across the five chord, the four chord, back to the one and then the turnaround. So I'm going to break this phrase for you uh, down and then what we're going to do is we're going to take phrases one, phrases two, phrases three we put them together with this video and we'll have a cool 12 bar sequence which I'll upload next, which you should be able to play. And the whole point is to bring together a whole bunch of tongue blocking techniques like I did in my video Bill's Blues, which is in third position. So this uh, phrase uh, from the top has a lot of interesting techniques that you can use to work on your tongue blocking and it sounds really cool. So let me play it for you one more time. So it's from the five chord. Okay, so all tongue blocks. So the first thing to talk about is the entry into the draw four. Now, one of the uh, things which um, intermediate and even some advanced players struggle with is they don't vary their timing. They're always very square to the beat and their solos are always um, same kind of timing and it's not um, off beats and not playing around with the time signature but still keeping the groove. Now someone who's absolutely fantastic, the master of this was Little Walter and what we've got here is a, is a little hop, skip and jump leading to the draw four, okay? Um, which happens very quickly. So rather than just hitting the draw four, we have these little, this little uh, hop, skip and jump. And if you listen to, to Little Walter and, and other players um, in that uh, mold, I suppose today, people like Dennis Grunling, um, Kim Wilson and so on, it's these little things which give them the edge. Well, one of the things which uh, makes them the great players that they are. So just playing that section, okay, it's from the draw, draw two, it sounds like this. So rather than just going straight in, we've got this little lead in. So what we're doing is draw two, draw three, half step bend, blow four, draw four, and we roll it down, rolling bend, half step bend, back to the three, and then back to the four. Okay, and it's those little things that, that really makes a difference. Now when I'm hitting that draw four, I'm not hitting it completely cleanly, I'm letting some of the five uh, read um, bleed in there, which gives it a bit of a, uh, more of a growl, or a, or a kind of dirtier sound. So rather than, I'm going. So there's a bit of the five coming in there. And again, this is all tone blocks. So I'm doing this to show you that you can hit these notes cleanly. You can do the bends, you can do the octaves, you can do the chords, etc., etc. All tone blocks, right? But it's up to you how you use these different techniques. So this is not a painting by numbers exercise. Now, what we then have is another little um, hop, skip and jump phrase down to the four chord, okay? Which sounds like this. So it's that. Again, these little details. So what I'm doing there is I'm doing a little tongue slap from the, the, the seal that I've got on the four. And then I'm doing a, a tongue slap onto the, the five hole. And then to the blow four octave. Like that. And again, that's a, nice, a lovely little example of what tongue blocking gives you. Um, try and do that lip purse. You can do the notes, but it doesn't quite sound the same, I think. But again, try it, make up your own mind. Now we land on that blow four octave, which you can only really do if you tongue block. And then we go draw three, draw two. And that, for the timing, that's where you can get this really nice swagger. And then we're back on the one chord. So that whole thing, again, from the five.
And again, when I'm doing that draw three half step, uh, I've got a bit of the four bleeding in there, uh, draw four. And then resolving down to the two with a good seal. So we're on the one chord. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna play the phrase which I went through in my first and second video, low register phrases one and two. And it sounds like this. Okay, no, in fact, we just do this. Which is draw one, blow two, blow three, draw three, half step bend, draw two. Okay, and that, I break that down in the first of these videos, the, the low register phrases part one. So we have. Draw one, blow two, blow three, draw three, half step bend, draw two. Then what we have is we have this phrase. Again, really cool, all tongue blocked. So what I'm doing there is I'm going draw three and I'm doing that chord, that three, four, um, a bit of lead. Now a lot of people will do that lip pursed and it sounds great. So that's lip purse, but you can also get those kind of sounds tongue blocking because the seal um, is off to one side and you've got the air coming down the other. Now when you tongue block it, what it means is you can do those tongue slaps and you can create and control the seal in a different way than you can with your lips. You can um, expand and shrink the seal to get these kind of effects, but it sounds really cool when you do a tongue block. So then what I'm doing is I'm going um, draw three on this chord, blow four, draw four, half step bend, all with um, a kind of bleeding sound. So the adjacent higher hole is sounding. So it sounds like this. And because I'm tongue slapping, we're getting that extra percussive sound. Now, again, we have a timing thing. Rather than being square on the B, okay, we uh, skip it a bit. And we can hang or delay on any of those notes, but, that, but that's how I'm doing it here. And again, very reminiscent of Little Walter. Then we resolve to the two. Then we do a draw two, a uh, whole step bend onto the draw one. And this is where we have this really sort of cool scooping draw one, big draw one. And I, I'm not using my hands anywhere here um, and don't tend to in my videos that much. Your hands are really important um, to get these tone and, and sound variations. When I'm doing these kind of tuitional videos, I, I like not to use my hands too much just to show the kind of tone you can get without um, having to cup. When you bring your hands in there, you can really get um, a huge sound uh, if you've got the right technique. So on this draw one, again, I'm tongue blocking from the other side of my mouth. However, and that's more of an advanced technique. So when we have this, that, I will switch to this, the other side of my tongue. But you can do that lip pursed if making that transition is difficult at the moment for you, if this is still new, if tongue blocking is still new. This is not, anything we're talking about here is not for beginners, but if you're an intermediate player getting into tongue blocking or an advanced lip purser getting into tongue blocking, then probably best to just tongue block on one side for the moment. So on this draw one, you can still get that effect lip pursed. <laughs> So I'm lip pursing that, tongue blocking. So again, on the low register, a little bit of difference there. But this is a great place, as I said, to bring in your hands. So you can get that real scooping, uh, dipping little water type sound, which is fantastic. So from the top, and again, I just wanna break down this in a lot of detail for people so you can see all the different techniques that you can do, all the little timing changes. 
if we think about it, if we take a step back, playing the four chord, sorry, the five chord, then the four chord, and then the one chord, a standard way of doing this would be just to hold that draw four and then do a blow four across the five and the four chords, okay? And what we've, what we've got, these two intro phrases completely change the dynamic of that lick. So the kind of lock and load vanilla way of doing this would be. But what we're doing here is we're going. little details which completely change the dynamic. I hope that's sort of coming across and I'm not over laboring the point. So we have the whole thing together uh, from the top. So this is from the five chord and it'll take you round to the next 12 bar and we're going to stitch all these things together. So. useful and we're going to plug them all together and see what happens.